have something else to say. Let's make it a moment. You break it, you bought it, you take it, you own it. But if you get it sorted, this ain't what you wanted. I aim and shoot it. This honey clip, it came with the cooler. Love the double dip. It is Monday right now. I woke up at around 8, like I normally do, and just ate breakfast and everything. Had my coffee outside, um, read a bit in my book, um, just like a usual morning. Now I'm going for my long run at a very chill pace because I want to listen to a podcast and take it slow today. Uh, the sun is shining, which is perfect. Then I will come home, make some food. In the afternoon, a friend of mine will come over to work on some projects. And then in the evening, I'm meeting one of my best friends who just came back from Singapore to catch up with him. And yeah, I'm very excited for today. Let's see what show me to say. Taking me to it. On the chase for a hundred mil, feel like they racing me to it. A and B student of the gang got the recipe to it. Unlike all of these other lames, they used to have it in blue. It. Shit they posted counting me in on was never included. 1008 grams, I break dance the bag and I move. Racks and my subies took off on me. I didn't film much today because I sat at this desk for the whole day. I had two calls with clients. They want to book me for their Christmas event. And we basically talked through the whole event. And then I sent them out um, two offers as well. After that, I did some mails and invoices and finished up editing the vlog from last week. All of this basically took up the whole day. I just started watching a new series and I don't remember the last time when I was so hyped for a new TV show like right now because I'm watching The Penguin and I am a big, big Batman fan and especially The Penguin is a character that I really like so I'm super excited for that. I got my tea ready and yeah, let's watch that. I hope it's good. Uh, uh, standing on big old business, chopper came with a kickstand and some tig old bitties, what else? This of a clip hole 50, how you claim you the brick man and you snitched on niggas, you know it. I spit this shit so vivid, don't make a nigga up the stick and flip the switch on niggas, you heard? Good morning, it's around 8 in the morning and I'm on my way to grab some breakfast with a friend and yeah, I will take you guys with me. Standing on big old business, sliding down, gripping that slim with a big pole in it, it's blocks. Can't let the discos flickers on six fold gritting, I'm ten toes in it. Windows tinted, Versace heaven, endo sending, Mike and Mary jeans, but the hoodie sweater, Kenzo knitted. It's on. Just give me 10 more minutes, I keep them rack racks on me Got my wrist on tennis, the kid on shimmer, my shit don't dim This big old camera knocking down, then yell Tim It's Friday evening and I completely forgot to film for the most part of the day And I actually also didn't do that much today, to be honest um, I set up one contract for a client Which they just confirmed to book me for a Christmas event in December After that I watched some lectures again read some magic books, wrote some new material and also went outside for a quick walk, did my workout at home and that's basically it. I'm always very much looking forward for Fridays because on Fridays all the artists and musicians release new music. I mean not all of them but most of them release on a Friday because then the new chart week starts and I kind of want to incorporate this into my videos and just show you guys what new releases that I liked show you guys some music because music is a very very big part of my life um, I listen to a lot of music and also collect vinyls and I'm very passionate about it so that's why I kind of want to share it as well on this channel and document it a bit uh, so I will check the new releases real quick that I liked so The Cure just released a new song since a very very long time it is called Alone I really liked it, um, especially they also teased a new album that is dropping on the 1st of November and I'm really excited for that album because the first single sounded so promising uh, in my opinion and I listen to The Cure quite often. So yeah, I'm excited how the album will sound on the 1st of November. Then the second thing, one of my favorite artists, Montel Fish, just dropped his new album Charlotte. Finally, I saw him live at the beginning of the year in Paris, which was very surreal and worth it to go see him live. 
I think I tried to catch him again on this tour, but I don't quite know if I'm free at his tour date. And yeah, he dropped Charlotte. And actually, I also got the vinyl in on the release date today. So my first listen of the album was on vinyl, which is very sick. I was kind of confused because on the vinyl he has different tracks in a different track order than on Spotify. So when I listened on it on vinyl and then after it on Spotify, it didn't match. So I found out that he had different tracks on the vinyl and a different order. But I like the vinyl a bit better actually and I'm happy that I got it. Uh, I can show you the vinyl real quick as well. This is the vinyl, it is red. It is not my favorite colored vinyl that I own, but it's all right. I think it matches the cover. If you guys would like a vinyl collection video, let me know. I think I will actually do one because I have quite a lot of vinyls and yeah, I would like to show them as well. Let's check out some other releases that I liked. I mostly make like a playlist every week and put every new release in it so I can go through them and listen to it. That's like kind of a Friday ritual for me. <laughs> um, Ecstasy released a new track which is called Mr. Mole. I really like that. I listen to a lot of Ecstasy. Then Beachweather released a new EP which was cool as well. A smaller artist which is called Arlie. Or I think he's a smaller artist. I just recently found him, released two songs that I enjoyed a lot, which is called New Archetype and Dogs of Music City. And also Crime Apple released a new song today in collaboration with RLX and DJ Mux. It isn't my favorite Crime Apple song. It is like all right. I have to give it a few more listens because I don't think I will listen to it a lot. Crime Apple has some better tracks, in my opinion. But he's like one of the most talented rappers out there, if you ask me. And yeah, those were like all the releases that I really enjoyed today. I also listened to some other stuff, but those were like my highlights. And yeah, let me guys know if that is interesting for you, because it's something that I'm very passionate about and I would like to share every week because I do it anyways as a ritual for myself, like I said before. And yeah, I wanna talk about music a bit more on here as well. Some feedback would be appreciated and you can also happily share which artists that you enjoy at the moment or listen to. And yeah, I will keep you guys updated on the music part as well, I think. I'm on my way to the track. I meet a friend there and we're gonna do a track session today. The weather isn't that pretty. Take it back to the days when the sun wanna shine But the birds still fly like they used to And the chick that I love is making me glow nuts In my ears saying I don't wanna lose you I gotta get it, go, I gotta get it, go I gotta get it, go, I gotta get it, go Come on, take me back to the days I know Take me back to the days I know well, it's the summertime, looking at my phone till it rang, throwing down for my school. It's the homecoming king. I'm coming for prime, man. You know it's our time, man. Do exactly what I say, so who the hell is sign, man? I got on back. It is still so awkward to talk to a camera like that, like I would rather just chat with you in person. I don't know when I will get used to this, but here we are, it's Sunday evening and I'm enjoying a cup of tea currently. I slept a lot today because I came home super late yesterday and then in the afternoon I filled out my taxes and handed them in um, for the year 2023. I also finished reading a Happy Death by Albert Camus or Camus. He is one of my favorite authors at the moment and The Stranger is my favorite book currently. And yeah, I read Happy Death by him and I had kind of an on-off relationship with this book actually. I took it with me to Edinburgh like a month ago or even two months ago 
and then I kind of started reading it, but put it away, started to read it again, put it away again. <laughs> but yeah, now I finally finished it. I always read like multiple books at a time. I don't know why. I probably shouldn't do that. But yeah, this was one of the multiple books that I was reading at the same time. And I actually really liked it. He has a very special writing style, I think. Very like monotone, but still he finds like the right words and writes very simple, but also very poetic at some parts of the book as well. The main character of the book, Merso, is kind of trying to find out where he can find happiness. And at the same time, you see like his desires and relationships and everything slowly starts to fade away as well. And yeah, he has a lot of every interaction that he has in the book leaves you open with like a philosophical confrontation and it kind of questions your own beliefs as well. So you, it gets you thinking in your own beliefs as well, in your own philosophical thinking. And I don't want to spoil too much, but at the end I feel like, or at least I saw it like this, that he accepted um, that he had to like live his whole life and feel every part of life to be happy. Finding meaning in the struggle as well, feel the ups, feel the downs and just live life to the fullest. Also like enjoying the fact that you are simply alive and know that this is enough as well. And yeah, all in all I really liked the book. I don't know why it took me so long to finish it to be honest. The Stranger still remains my favorite book that I read of him but A Happy Death, I can highly recommend it as well, to read it. Let me know if you guys want to hear more about books that I've read, because I have a lot of books that I can talk about, and I read a lot. I could also make like a more detailed review of it, like a separate video or something if someone is interested, just let me know. I quickly want to read one of the paragraphs that I've marked to you guys, just to give you like an impression of the book. And yeah, this is one that stood out to me very much. So let's read it out loud. Believe me, there is no such thing as great suffering, great regret, great memory. Everything is forgotten, even a great love. That's what's sad about life and also what's wonderful about it. There is only a way of looking at things, a way that comes to you every once in a while. That's why it's good to have had love in your life, after all, to have had an unhappy passion. It gives you an alibi for the vague despairs we all suffer from.